Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this session, Adding Closed Captions and Subtitles for Videos in Alma Digital. This is Yoel Cortex, Senior Librarian at Ex Libris. And before we begin, before we get into the details, what we're showing today requires the use of the new Alma Viewer. So let's take a look at the configuration there for the new Alma Viewer. In order to get to the configuration there, we'll first go into Configuration, and then we'll go to Fulfillment and the Discovery Interface Display Logic, and then to the Viewer Services. And within the Viewer Services, we have the Alma Viewer activated. In there, we will edit, and we have chosen Use New Viewer. So that is the only prerequisite for this feature. Now back to our feature. So we're adding now a MP4 file, a video file. And in the August release here, it's also possible to add subtitles, closed caption subtitles. And we're going to see how that works. Before we begin, let's take a look at the sample files. So I have here an MP4. It's called a Lake, Wind, Trees, and Ducks, a short sample file. And I'm going to open this with Chrome right now just to show that there are no subtitles. It's a very short 22-second movie, no subtitles, as we can see. Then we have a VTT file, which I'll open here with Notepad++. And it's a standard VTT file which states, for example, at 0 seconds and 500 milliseconds until 4 seconds and 500 milliseconds, now we see a tree with leaves blowing in the wind. Then later on it says now we're moving left and we can see the lake. Then it says it's raining, and then it says we can see rocks on the shore, and then we see ducks, etc. A standard VTT file for our purposes to accompany the 22-second video that we have. And, of course, we have a bibliographic record here, also called a Lake, Wind, Trees, and Ducks. And now we're going to see how we can add a file, which in this case is an MP4 video, and accompany to that file a closed caption subtitles, the VTT file, in our case. So first we're going to add some inventory. We don't have inventory right now. If I say view related data view inventory, we see no records were found. There is no inventory. Now we're going to add the inventory. So we'll add inventory and we'll add a representation. And to this representation, we'll say, first of all, we've already got our collection. Okay, it's not going to be remote. And we're going to upload a file, add files, and we'll add our MP4. MP4 is getting added as we speak, our short 22 second video, and it's now fully added. And we'll save. And all is ready. Now let's go take a look at that again. Again, we'll view related data view inventory. Now we have the inventory. Let's edit that representation and go to the file list. And now we have a new option that did not exist before the August 2022 release. Within these three dots here, we have an option to add the captions. So here we are. This is the action items. And now I have this option, captions. Note also here, because we're going to look at this again later, note that there's no other option here other than upload. After I add this, later on at the end of the session, we're going to see another option there. So take note right now, our only option right now is upload. Now let's upload those captions. And here we have the captions upload. Let's upload. And here it is. It's automatically bringing by default, you can see, a VTT file. It's automatically uh, not showing me, for example, the MP4 and or any other files that are in this directory. So I'm taking this VTT file, and let's say OK. And it's uploaded. It says caption file was added for file, a lake, wind, trees, and ducks. Let's save. So now we've added it. 
Now, let's take a look at that video. We don't need to go all the way to Primo and search as an end user. We can see it right here simply by clicking deliver. Here we are. Let's take a look. And now we see, now we see the trees with the leaves blowing in the wind. And then we see now we're moving left. And note here, I've got an option to turn the captions off. Now I don't see the captions. Then I'm gonna turn the captions on. And now again, I do see the captions. It says here are the ducks. Now we zoom out and see the ducks behind the bush. That last one that we see right now, now we zoom out a bit and can see the ducks behind the bush. That's coming directly from our VTT file. Now, one final note before we conclude. If we come back here and I edit one more time the representation and we go to the file list and we click captions before we only had the option of upload. Now we can delete it if we wanna add a new one and we can also download the existing captions. Thanks everybody for joining us and we hope to see you in all of our future sessions. Bye-bye.